All right, so this, this is another abandoned love hotel in Japan. Um, there's so many of these abandoned love hotels all over. Um, they all kind of die out for, I don't know, similar reasons, I guess. Um, some are just really remote and no one wants to go there. Um, but this one in particular is very unique because it is shaped like a boat. Um, so yeah, this one is shaped like a boat, which is insane. I've never seen any hotel, abandoned or not, that is shaped like a hotel. So I wanted to come here and check it out. Um, so far it seems like it's got a lot of stuff left. So I'm hoping the rooms have either cool design or there's some stuff left just to, you know, to make the video better. But either way, I'll try to show you the outside of this place. Um, because it looks so freaking cool. It, it is literally shaped like a boat and we're not near any water. So <laughs> I don't know, it is what it is, but all right guys, let's go check it out. Guys, I just found a weird wanted poster, like a criminal wanted poster in this abandoned hotel. All these guys are wanted for different crimes. But the question is why would this random hotel care to have this up here in their hotel. Unless some of these guys were known to frequent this hotel or something, and they just wanted to make sure that none of them came here. I don't know, but it legit says, like their height, their weight, <laughs> and it says uh, that they're wanted, so. Yeah, right here. Wanted. So I have no idea what these guys did or why they're on this weird wanted board, but it's interesting. Um, so this is uh, like the, basically the owner's um, like section or apartment of the abandoned hotel. This is where I think they would have the check-in desk, but this is also where the owner lived. And they got the computer screen right here and some keys left. But that's not all. There's some a little bit of money in here. <coughs> that's like a dollar and ten cents right there. I don't know if someone just put it there or if that's just left from the actual time this was open. But And at one of the other abandoned one of the other abandoned love hotels, I found these tubes. So I don't know if you ever seen my other abandoned love hotel that was untouched. Um, but these tubes are basically like little kind of mailing systems, so to speak. So in other words, uh, any person who was in a hotel room, if they needed something, whatever it was they needed, the they would push a button in their room. And uh, the owner, whoever was here in charge, would uh, put it in this tube, hit the button, and it would get sent off to the person's room. It's like a very discreet mailing system, basically. Whatever you need, they would get it for you, put it in the tube, and send it off to your room. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty, pretty much like a full apartment uh, for the owner here. I mean, they got... Like a living room with their couch, um, like a fridge. They have a picture of Qui-Gon Jim from Star Wars. That is random. Um, anyway, see so yeah, they have a fridge, standard fridge, I guess. Um, but look, all their stuff is here, all their glasses. There we go. All their cups, glasses. I mean, everything is left here. Hey guys, this is the outside. It's got like the porthole windows. I have never seen anything like this. Um, when I leave, I'll try to show you guys from far away so that way you can kind of get a bigger, better perspective.
This is uh, the entrance though. This is where you would drive your car through. And what's unique about Love Hotels is each room has its own parking spot. Love Hotels are always trying to be discreet because a lot of these customers that come in here are usually on a fling or a fare or something, so they want to be very discreet. Anyway guys, let's check out some of the rooms. I hope some stuff is left. I don't know much about this place except it has a very cool exterior. Um, most of the abandoned love hotels I've shown like the pricing and stuff, but I think people will find it interesting how much it would have cost to stay here. Um, so this is hotel, hotel room number 13, obviously. Um, so it costs 3500 or 5500 Now, usually the cheaper one is um, like a shorter period of time, like you can book it every per hour or book it for like six hours or so. Um, so I think this is the cheaper option, um, I guess is like five or six hours, 3500 which is like 35 bucks. Um, or if you wanted to like stay the whole night, uh, be like 55 bucks. All right guys, I'm inside one of the rooms and there is a lot of stuff left. Uh, not really in the bathroom here, but in the bedroom. But I just wanted to show you guys, look at these. This is what we saw from the outside. It's like a port porthole, like they, you would see in a ship. So they really made this uh, building feel like it was the actual ship. As we transition to like the little hangout seating area, there's even some karaoke. It looks like, and like hot water heater here. Dang, that looks like it would have been fun. Looks like also have like a safe. There's like 12 or 10 like little safes and you can just put valuables in each one, I guess. bad of a hotel room. Um, it's not like super uniquely themed like some of the other abandoned love hotels. But I like the you know the design of the the boat you know the, it makes it look cool. This definitely has like an 80s thing going on. Just from the fact that some of the furniture, I don't know, maybe it's not 80s, but it just has that look to it. I mean, I've never seen a table curve like that. Maybe they're trying to be retro. I don't know. Whoever is in here though keeps flipping over the mattresses. Yeah, so far, these hotel rooms are not in bad condition. So far, all the, all the rooms look pretty identical, just different color couches, tables, and wallpaper. But for the most part, they have similar styles and similar things, like the karaoke machine right there in front of us. The big safe. But what's interesting is this building, the outer wall where the portholes are is like out here. So it's like they built the outer wall around around the actual bedrooms. It's weird. See, this is what I mean. It's like, that's not a walkway right there. It's just a, like a six inch gap 
between the rooms and the actual outer wall. And then there's the portholes right there. All right, let me show you the entire um, boat as much as I can. Um, it's hard because we're surrounded kind of in a, in like, sort of like a mini forest um, with houses around. So it makes it difficult to show you like the best angle, but I'll do my best. All right, so I, I totally spaced on showing you guys um, the tube in the room. Uh, the, the tube where they would send all the stuff from the office to here if you, if you needed something. I forgot to show you guys that. So here, it's right by the bed. But yeah, so whatever you would need, I guess you would just press, I think you would just press that button and it, it would like send a light or a signal to the owner in the office there. I don't know how you would communicate what you would need, but I guess either way, whatever you need, it would pop up right here. Again, something you don't ever see, hardly ever. This is the biggest room so far, guys. And it's actually got some porthole windows in the room to where you actually can see out of them, although they've been, I think, st just stuck with uh, different vines growing on them, so I try to open them and they won't open, but I'm sure when this was active hotel back in the day, it would have been easy to open them. But yeah, similar setup in a, in a sense, but this room is way, way bigger. And you got like six porthole windows, like easy access. You don't have to open up a separate window just to look out. You can just open these up right, right here. And the bathroom's around the corner. So this one is way bigger than all the other rooms. Guys, you can even see the paw prints from the cat. So he must have, I don't even know how he got in here. The door was closed, but somehow he got in here. And maybe the door closed behind him, I don't know. It's unfortunate. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap up the video here. Um, compared to some other abandoned hotels, um, this one might not be as cool because it, you know, it's not as unique as some of my other videos, but I had to come here and film it just because it's shaped like a boat and you don't see any kind of place, abandoned or not, um, you know, a building shaped like a boat. I don't, I don't know many that are. So I had to come show it for you guys um, it was cool to see a lot of, um, you know, the karaoke machines, the TVs, um, some of the other stuff left behind. Um, so, you know, it wasn't a complete bust. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you're new around here, definitely subscribe. And as always, don't forget to live, explore, and travel. I'm Harmon Vlogs, and I'll see you guys on the next adventure.